All right, good morning. We are going to carry on with chapter nine. So today we're gonna to talk about the stages of mitosis and cytokinesis. So we talked briefly um, about the definition of uh, chromosomes, which you already wrote down, so you don't necessarily need to write it again. Um, I just realized that it is in the, on there twice. Um, but chromosomes are the structures that contain the genetic material that is passed on from one generation cells to the next. Chromatin is actually the form of DNA in the cell's nucleus, which is usually just a tight little, looks like a little ball of string. Now, when they are ready to go through mitosis, they take on the form that you see here on this image that I pulled from your textbook. So it kind of looks like a fuzzy X type of shape. Now, mitosis, again, we did briefly discuss it when we talked about the cell cycle because it is technically the M phase of the cell cycle. So it's the stage of the cell cycle during which the cell's nucleus and nuclear material divide in four stages. Now we're going to go through each one of these individually. Um, in class, uh, we usually go through these and we draw diagrams in the notes um, that are color coded. So um, just, I would like you to have the simplified diagram here in your notes. All right, so stage one is prophase. Uh, during this stage, the chromatin condenses into the chromosomes, which, which have that X shape. Um, each half of the X is what we call a sister chromatid, and it's held in the center. I know this picture is a little bit fuzzy, but a little circle um, that we call the central mirror. And then the spindle apparatus, which includes spindle fibers and centrioles, will start to take shape during this particular phase. So metaphase, uh, technically it is two individual piece, two individual stages. Um, there is a pro-metaphase and then an actual metaphase, but um, you don't need to have that part memorized. But during this stage, the sister chromatids will line up on the middle, um, the midline or equator of the cell. So the actual getting them to that midline and then being sure that they are attached to the spindles, which is what these are out here. Um, is actually a two-part stage. So this would technically be pro-metaphase, and then this would be metaphase. So easiest one to spot because everything is, like I said, lined up in the middle. So anaphase, at this point, uh, the chromatids are pulled in half, and then they are dragged to opposite ends of the, sta of the cell by the um, spindle apparatuses. So you can see that these axes have been split in half. Again, this is an easier um, one, an easier cell to spot in the scheme of things. All right, uh, this image has both is talking about both telophase and it's got the picture of cytokinesis on there. But um, this is the last stage of mitosis where the nuclear membrane starts to reform around the two sets of chromosomes, and then it begins to pinch off. Now, the pinching off is actually what we call cytokinesis. Um, it's not technically part of mitosis, but it is what ha is what happens right after. And if you actually look at the term cytokinesis, it's broken down and actually means split in half. Um, in animal cells, the point of cytokinesis is called a cleavage furrow, and in animal or plant cells, it is called a cell plate. Um, I have pictures of both of them on the next slide to show you. So once these cells have completely separated, um, it forms two daughter cells that are, under normal conditions, identical copies of the original cell. So the cell plate, uh, okay, so here's what's showing you. So the difference of the, this is the animal cell, um, so a cleavage furrow on an animal cell, and then a cell plate. Um, the cell plate is basically a precursor to the cell wall and it just takes time to rebuild and eventually this will be completely solid. And I know it's a little bit faint right here but um, you can get an idea better um, with this uh, artist rendition here. So what I would like for you to do is to have a mitosis diagram in your notes. Now you can draw the simplified um, images from what we just went through um, or you can just find a decent diagram on, um, on a Google search. Um, there will be an assignment today, so uh, if you have any questions about any of this, please let me know. <laughs>